these headphones are big. Oh, uh, okay. Um. They, sorry, they don't what? I will hold them. <laughs> uh, can you? Is there a shrink on this? Like help. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, you can just pull them together. I didn't notice. Uh, anyways, um, I'm just gonna commentate the match while uh, Cinnabon here gets her headphones fixed up. Uh. <gasps> oh, Shogi! Shogi! Stop it! Bad Shogi! Actually, great play by Shogi there, being able to get the downer, but Cantrip comes way back! Oh, man. These two are able to just crack off the stocks like it's no problem at all. We're pretty much at a fresh game with uh, hardly 45 seconds off the clock. Yeah, okay, you need to do all the commentating, because, like... Because <laughs> why? Well, I don't know Smash. That's fine. Just say just say things. Talk about the game. Yeah, just say, say what you okay, see. Okay, well, I know that's Marth. Yep, that is Marth. Yes. Oh boy. Um, anyways, Chogi cracking out the down air. Uh, tries to be able to create a bit of a, a bounced up situation on Cantrip, but doesn't manage to land it. Justin had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? You know, honestly, um, I think Marth is going to be able to pull this one off. As, uh, you know, just with Tipper against Sonic, it's such a good option. Um, see there, that Tipper forward smash just seals the stock. Yay! I know, what a great play by Shogi. Wait, which one is Um Marth? Shogi is the guy on the right, oh. uh, and the Sonic player has the cute little penguin I hat. I know, I was just thinking. That's a cute hat. It is a cute hat. So who do you like to play? What's your thing? Who um, are you? <laughs> uh, lately, I've been playing Corrin, but I've been using the male Corrin because I'm not a weeb. One, go! <laughs> Anyways, here we are going to the second match. We're on Dreamland. Um, uh, <laughs> all right, fine, all right, fine. Settle down. Gonna take it to Dreamland. This is a good stage for Sonic, especially for Cantrip, who is a man of much patience. Uh, typically likes to sit on the top platform, trying to grab someone for an up throw and take him for a quick spring ride. But not gonna be able to do that quick. Oh, that was a. That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> it happens sometimes. Uh, it'll hit the hide when Devin's trying to do things. It'll hit the hide away and just kind of clips off the clips off the view. But here we go, spring ride. Gonna be able to get the up air, and that is the early stock coming out from Cantrip. Really makes use of this stage every single time he gets a counter pick to it. People need to start banning the tri plats away from him. You don't really want to give him battlefield, but I mean, you don't have to because these stages are linked and it's stupid. Um, but anyways, Dreamland definitely paying off early, and the aggression coming out from Cantrip. Um, when he honestly is just a man of zero aggression once he gets the lead, uh, is astounding to see. He's going oof, really trying to get rid of the stock quick. Shogi, though, Dancing Blade finishes with the upward tilt of it, allowing Cantrip to find his way to the top. Shogi, oof, a little bit nervous right there. Spot dodges with Cantrip not even approaching him. But, you know what, that'll happen to a guy. Shogi gets down to, I think. I like the Sonic. He's cool. Sonic is a very <laughs> cool character. Um, oh, no, he had the jab that could have been, uh, maybe not this percent, but probably could have been an F smash. Unfortunate that, he'd, uh, that he didn't go for it, but that is what happens sometimes. Um, yeah, so uh, Shogi in an extremely difficult p position right now as he's, oof, vicious down there. Um, as he still hasn't removed a stock off of Cantrip, and we are nearly, ha that's, oof, not quite, but damn near. Shogi gonna be able to grab the back air though to be seal off the stock. Um, but you still think Sonic's gonna win, right? Well, given the like, 101%, 101%, it's a very, very tough hill for him to climb. But uh, the ability for Shogi to space out his aerials, given that he's got a disjoint in the fact that he has a sword, um, allows him to try and make this comeback. Doing a good job of the forward airs, though, to rack up some quick damage. Uh, but he's no he's nowhere near safe yet. Cantrip, though, almost accidentally sd not realizing he didn't have a jump. Um, but he makes himself, makes himself back onto the stage. 
Gonna go up to the top platform. No, doesn't decide to hide there. Dancing Blade, though, gonna allow Shogi to sweep him upwards. And that's actually nearing kill potential for, uh, for Shogi. Uh-oh. Not yet, Oh my god. Soon. I just want Sonic to finish this. He should be able to very soon, and that back air will yes. do it. Cool. Back air, a very uh, interesting move, as the strong hit of it has more base knockback, but the uh, weak hit of it has more knockback growth. So, like, at higher percents, um, knockback growth reacts off of the higher percent. Okay, yeah. Um, so, at a high percent, they pretty much work the exact same. Okay. So, back air is just such a, such a great move um, to be able to finish out stocks. Justin, pass my snacks. <laughs> that's not my snacks. The candy. Was that you? I forget. Uh, oh, yeah, that's oh. right. You should. Sh yeah. That was me, yes. Um. Anyways, we'll be taking game three over to Final Destination. Um, a solid counter pick for Marth as it uh, makes it that it's a bit of a higher stage. Doesn't allow Sonic to do the easy uh, spring ride off of a platform. Um, it also creates the uh, ability for um, Shogi to just use up air to be able to catch all of his landings. Um, but so far, fairly even game. The uh, large nature, or not the large nature of the stage, the nature of this being a large stage, though, allows for Cantrip to just get himself around and find his way uh, into safer situations before he goes for an aggressive option. Ooh, yes. Yes. I do agree. Yes. Quite you missed out on my great commentary for the beginning of, uh, oh. of Game 2. Your commentary is always great. No, 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 no. Because no. my commentary was like this for the beginning of Game 2. Like, oh my god. Like, oh my god. Like, I can't believe you just got that up smash. Except there was no up smash right there. But... I don't think there was enough smashing game two at all. Well, um, whatever the case, though, uh, Marth at a bit of a disadvantage state uh, on his own counter pick. Um, not too big of a deal as uh, he's able to keep throwing out these disjoints to try and catch the spin dash, but yet to really catch the spin dash. He's yeah. uh, been in a rough spot the entire time. Ooh. Oh, nice one. Oh, into the F smash. That will for sure secure the stock. Can't trip. Take the first stock of game number three in this best of three. Mm. He's sitting pretty. On the counter pick, too. Uh, like, on Shogi's counter pick. So this is, uh... Oh, is that it? <gasps> what? No, spring ride. Cantrip. Spring what ride, my that? guy. Yeah, spring ride from Cantrip. Jeez. Get in the spring ride on to Shogi. Moving in. Yosh. Mm. All right. All right. All right, so... Turns out, we're going to be switching up the commentary a bit. Uh, thank you guys for watching so far. Stay tuned in, because we do have Top 8 coming up. And thank you all for watching. Make sure you come out to Battle of BC2 as well. June 3rd, June 4th, smash.gg slash B-O-B-C-2. Mm.